was already crypto muscle I'm here with another YouTube video and so here we are internationally renowned worldwide think this is where it's at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you yet with another YouTube video I know I know I know I just I just keep banging it that's what I do all the time in more than ways than one, if you know what I mean. Banging it, get it? Oh yeah, that's what I do. But uh, this video is going to be about a platform that we've been in that I keep saying is going to be bigger and better than C12 because this thing has the capabilities of moving forward. All right, forward and fast. And for sure, I think, I truly, truly believe it will be better than C12. And that is, uh, let's see where am I at. That is K100 right here, K100. And with K100, this is what you're going to be doing. All right, let me just go over here. I'm going to hit the invest. You're going to see what it is. All right, when you invest... What you're really doing is you're going to put in Bitcoin, TRT20, or BEP20 into this platform. And you know what this platform does? You're going to make 10% daily for 10 days. All right. And think about that for a second. 10% daily for 10 days. And after 10 days, you get 25% pure profit. And so that's how that works. So you're going to earn your 10 days plus your 25% pure profit that you're going to get out of it. So that's what you're going to get with this thing. Pretty cool stuff, huh? When you think about it. And here, you know what? Let's see here. Is there a calculator here? I think this might be a calculator. No? Maybe so? Yeah, maybe? No? Well, not on here. I think it's on the front page here, but... Or is it here? Let's see. No. But, yeah, so... What you're going to put in... You're at the end of the next... Of the plan, the very next business day, which technically would be, like, day 11, business day-wise, that's where you're going to get the 25% profit. You know out of that and so that's what that is how this program works so it's kind of like similar to c12 and all the other you could say clones that have come after it but k100 stands out because yeah they're similar but yet they're different and they're different because the management style is different the ownership's different the structure of it is different and this is the possibilities of how far along this baby can go. It's all there too. Pretty cool stuff. And so when we look at this here, let's see. By the way, check this out. So I have this plan here, right? Hundred, 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 hundred. That's four hundred bucks, right? Because I don't put in those hundred dollar bills. All I do is put these two in. And for every Sunday that Sunday that we roll. I'll put a new 5,000 in because one's going to be cycling off. All right, so that's how I'm doing it. And then as for these uh, $100 ones right here, I could just thank the hacker for that bonus gift. Thank you. All right. So, you know, I just want to say thank you. You, you gave me a great gift. And, you know, I've talked about this, right? If you didn't catch my video on the k100 i believe it was last wednesday i called it uh k100 you know withdraw and story time listen to that story and i'll tell you what happened you know how i got this extra 400 dollars from the hacker all right so with that um I mean, long story short this is what happened here right so the hacker got into my account right and it was compromised because um, even though it has like 2FA, they could still, at that time, until they nipped it in the bud, 
just go ahead and um, you know change the password request right by putting in the username and then with that it bypassed the 2FA and any other measures to this change the password so it ended up changing my password it, hit, it, it only hit like a couple other people right because I've seen a couple of other people talk about it so and not even mention it in the telegram group right so I could see that okay so there's a little bit of people that's affected by it so they nipped it in the bud K100 that is they nipped it in the bud by no longer using the username as an option to get a new password back you know the or forget password back so they have a different way of doing it now plus they increased the 2FA um, you know usability and put in you know key what do you call it the four letter key or four number key um, as well on top of that nipped it in the bud so during that time though before they nipped it in the bud this hacker try to request withdraw and I could come in and cancel it right because um, I could still log in and just cancel it and then hours later it would just happen again they try to commit you know submit a withdraw and it's kind of a similar amount too like 4,100 5,000 and things like that so you know I already knew it was in the works right so rather than cancel it at that time I already knew it was in the works that they were going to nip it in the bud. I just let it be. So I let it be, and the dumbass hacker thought he, you know, hijacked my account. And so by doing that, he thought he hijacked my account. So he put in 400 bucks, right? <laughs> just to, I don't know, for shit. I don't know why he did that, but it was just funny that he did that. And when he did that, uh, you know, it was just adding to the deposit. And then, you know, that's when at that point they nipped it in the bud. No withdrawals were coming out of this thing because it's a manual process, right? So no withdrawals came out. He made the deposit. And then I'm earning from it, right? I'm going to earn 10% daily for 10 days on this $100 each. So that's 400 bucks each. And then at the end of it, I get 25% on each $100 deposit. Which is not a lot, but it's still something, right? And so that was a gift from the hacker. And I just want to say thank you for the gift, right? And so uh, that was nipped in the bud. And then with that, this bud's for you, right? Because I'm going to do a withdraw uh, in your face for the hacker in your face. Plus, it's a midweek update, by the way. So I'm going to do that. Put my 2FA in. Always make sure you check your wallet addresses and see if it's very familiar to you. And uh, that you know that that's your wallet address, right? That's what you need to make sure. There's a 10% fee on every withdrawal, which is fine. I think it's healthy for a platform to charge a withdrawal fee. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to do another withdrawal because I want to clean the house up. You know. So a double shot, withdraw, double shot, busting out of my pants. I couldn't, I can't because it's not instant. So you can see that. You see all these cancels, right? Because this guy was persistent in trying to uh, do a withdraw, right? And so, um, yeah, see how you can see the address changes right here versus my regular address? So yeah, he, they, he tried to take it, you know. And just before that, I took it out here. I took it out here. But yet, yeah, when this came up, we tried to do it, you know, so it's pretty funny. Oops, hit the wrong withdraw. I meant to hit this withdraw. So I'm processing uh, Bitcoin to manual withdrawal, like I said. And, oh, there we go. Now I'm going to try to, get, so I did Bitcoin. And the balance doesn't go away right away, so they got to keep that in mind. Uh, that's just the way the platform performs. So if that's what they do, that's what they do. That's all I can do myself. So put that in. So in this case, your balance is going to remain until it gets withdrawn. So I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't bother. 
uh, I would just let it be. And that's why I usually just let it be for, you know, until I get paid out before I look back inside my account again. Because I don't want to do the math and sit there and be like, you know, oh, here's this and here's that. And, you know, I'm just going to let it be. So there you go. So I put in my withdrawal request. So hacker in your face there. And then once these expire in three days, right? So by this weekend, I'm going to put, put it in his face again, the hacker, right? So all four of these are going to expire this weekend. And so that way I could honor the hacker with his investment to me. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the kind gesture. And so, um, yeah, that's where it's at, though. K100, that's what's great about it, right? The support is great. Uh, security has now improved, right? Hey, things happen sometimes. Uh, the usability of the platform is great. I mean, there's, there's a lot to like about this platform. And obviously, the numbers show, right? Because the team numbers, look at that, shows that people really like this platform. So, you know, there and then... Me my maintaining the ten thousand dollars has netted me what twenty one thousand. So I've already doubled back what I've already you know what I've put into it, and I'm just maintaining that ten thousand dollars in there at all times, until I'm given reason not to. All right. So if there's no reason not to keep going, well then, why am I going to stop? <laughs> you know so. You gotta give me a reason. Don't just say stop, you know, or don't do it. You gotta tell me why. But yeah, so that's what is going on here. I don't know. It's kind of slow loading right now here. Maybe it's busy, but this is what it looks like here. Same thing. So typically I complete even this, my uh, $5,000 one is going to expire in three days as well. All right. So this 5000 will expire. And then what I typically do on Sundays it's gonna, this is going to expire by the end of the week. That's 10 business days. And then Sundays, that's when I put in a new deposit because it doesn't trigger um, you know, action or any sort of function until the Monday, which is the next day. Because that's the next business day. And that's how I go about it. All right. Just kind of maintaining this active deposit at all times. If there's a um, reason, let's just say if I could have uh, sort of a reassurance in some way, shape, or form to put in more, then I would put in more. But I don't know. I got to see that reassurance first before I could trust myself putting in it. Because, I mean, $10,000 is not a low amount either, you know. But at the same time, um, it's just one of those things that, Hey, you know what? If there's confidence, and time will only build up my confidence in this thing. That's all I need, just time, and continue to ob observe all this. And then when that does come, okay, there it is, right? Uh, I'll increase the deposit only when that time comes. So, yeah, K100, this is where it's at. 10000 plus $400 right there because a hacker. <laughs> And um, with that, you know, the hacker worked hard to take my money. And probably the same one that's been trying to get hit my all my accounts, right? He, he's trying really hard to hit my accounts. So, you know, there's been hits and misses, right, that, that hacker's done. But it's all good because, you know, at least I get, I'm, get, I'm earning something back, you know, in this regard. So that's cool. And I'll take it. Thank you very much. But yeah, so midweek update, things are looking good, things are looking healthy. Um, remember, when you do a withdrawal, withdrawals come out anywhere between 24 to 96 hours. So you just got to, you know, be patient. And K100 always comes through. All right, so far. So let me see here real quick before we go. So this is where it's at right here. Keep it at 100. Right here. Check it out. Links in the description. Comment down below. Links down below. I'll see you in the next one.